Hi, uh, this is a video about one of my experiments, uh, how to check uh, the existence of uh, users in a DAO database. Uh, I would say that this uh, video is for advanced users who know how to work with uh, uh, custom actions. Also, I would like to warn you that uh, when you are implementing the same method, uh, be careful because uh, there is not only create uh, action used, but also delete action used, and especially during the testing of the uh, custom actions, uh, well, deleting a user can result in well, bad consequences. But uh, anyway, I find this method pretty interesting. Enjoy! This is pretty non-standard way to check if user exists in a Dello database or not. First, uh, I'll show you the user list. We have five users here. Uh, and um, here is the user check screen. Let's enter the user email. So say john at uh, gmail.com. So I'm pressing check button. Uh, it says a uh, user with email john exists. And uh, then I let me reset the result. So I add two ones. It says that user does not exist uh, and uh, as I remember there was a user John Yahoo.com so let's uh, check if this works for this user you see that user exists and uh, even if I type something arbitrary As you see, it says user does not exist. So uh, let me explain how it works from inside. Uh, the usual way to check if user exists or not is to create a, a list of users uh, filtered by the uh, email, uh, by the value from the input. And the filter is based on um, email. So the button uh, of this list appears. I did it a different way. Uh, and uh, I used Adelo, Adelo API to uh, do these checks. So uh, here is uh, the logic which is uh, connected to the check button. I have created two custom actions, uh, Adelo API user check and uh, Adelo API user check two. Uh, the thing which I'm, uh, the method which I'm using uh, is uh, the following. Um, the idea behind is mm, that uh, when you try to create a user, uh, if uh, user create is success successful, Adelo API uh, will return uh, the user ID, user email, and some other information. And if uh, create action is unsuccessful, then uh, Adelo API will return uh, email already exists. So what I'm trying to do here uh, is I take, I'm taking the uh, email from this input box. This is a user email input. Uh, then uh, this is a custom action uh, type of type create. Uh, this is the base URL uh, and uh, I'm using post method uh, for uh, adding the new user record. So I will not show the authorization. Uh, as a body, I use uh, email. So I'm trying to create the, uh, with a post method, uh, the user with email, which equals uh, the email. Uh, so this is the test value, uh, uh, which equals to uh, the input, which I'm taking from the input value. So let's uh, add this. Uh, existing user. So when I'm running test request, uh, you see that full response here is email already exists. And uh, if I'm using uh, non-existent email, there is no such user here. You see that there is a response here. So uh, what I can do with this, uh, if uh, I get a response, if I get the ID from the response, that I can be sure that there is no such user. Uh, and uh, if ID, I don't get ID, so ID is empty, then uh, such user exists. 
So based on that, I have created the logic that uh, I have created the uh, input value here. It's just for temporary, uh, storing temporary information. So uh, based on this logic, uh, I'm changing the input value to user exists. Uh, if uh, the ID uh, is equal to empty. So if uh, this uh, method um, um, custom custom action returns email already exists, so there is no ID, so ID is empty, then I put, I record this, can, it kind of record this into the uh, input box. And uh, then uh, I show Uh, this label so it's sometimes visible if input box contains a user exists then I show that user with this email exists and uh, uh, there is another option that uh, user is successfully created so the ID exists so we get return ID so uh, and this uh, I change input value to no user and uh, I change it uh, only sometimes if the uh, result of this uh, uh, user check action uh, ID is not equal to empty. And I don't really care what, sh what ID uh, it returns. Uh, mm, however, mm, I'm not recording. I mean, I care, but I don't rec I'm not recording because I will need uh, this ID in a subsequent ac action. I don't want to create this uh, fake users, so I need to delete the user with this ID. And uh, I'm taking uh, the uh, result of ID as a, it's another custom action, and this another custom action is, well, it's type create, I don't know why, but still it works as like that. Uh, and uh, this is the base URL, and uh, this is the delete uh, URL, and I add ID as an input uh, uh, here. Uh, and the, I am using method delete, uh, the authorization header. I will not run test request as it will delete uh, the, as a result, it will delete the uh, user with this ID. Uh, but uh, then after uh, the result of this action that I have uh, for this user, which has been created uh, as a kind of a check user, uh, it, it is deleted. Uh, so, um, I hope you liked this video and it was useful. Uh, it's a proof of concept once again, uh, and uh, I'm not sure whether it could be put into production, but I, when I experimented, I found it uh, pretty interesting and decided to share my, the results of my experiments. Uh, thank you and stay tuned for more videos.